Lonzo. Yes, sir. Six months into coronavirus. Looking back and looking forward, do you think this thing is ever going to end? If so, when do you think it's going to end? Ah, man, I think it's going to be around for a while. It may not be to the degree that they, uh, as it is right now. I think, like everything else, it's probably going to stick around for a while, but we're going to find ways to deal with it. Um, I know people that have had it, and the variations in the symptoms and how it was treated, how long it lasts, how severe it was, everybody's varied, okay? Mm -hmm. Even when you get it, sometimes you don't know you have it, okay? Uh, sometimes cats get, you know, get sick for a couple of days, get diarrhea, cough a little bit, and it's over with four or five days later. So it all depends on you as a person. And I think at some point in time, we may have to just stand up to it, man, and just start, you know, doing what we're doing just to get back to some, some type of, some, some type of resemblance of life as we once knew it. You know, they said it, it don't travel outside. Okay, why we can't have football games? Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I'm, I'm not a doctor, man. I'm just, I'm just looking, looking at it from a perspective. I listen to what people say. I listen to what the experts, so-called experts say. And uh, from a logical standpoint, which is, which, which is where I always base my, my theories, thoughts, and perceptions, it seems to me that if it's not being trans transmitted outside, it, it, and it's not a situation that travels in the wind, you pretty much got to spit in somebody's face or, um, you know, be on the surface where it's really active, put it yeah. in your mouth or your face or your eyes or something like that, um, that, that, changes, that changes the narrative quite a bit. Yeah, yeah. Well, let me ask you, let's say, I'm going to throw a date out there, November 1st, 2020. They, we wake up and they have a vaccine for it. Is Alonzo getting the vaccine? Nope. <laughs> Talk to nope. me. No, nah, man, I don't trust white. I don't, I don't trust these people like that, dude. I don't trust <laughs> them like that, especially if it's free. Oh, hell no. Hell no. Okay. I, I didn't read too much history, man. They gave, they gave the Indian smallpox. They gave the brothers in Tuskegee uh, syphilis. I don't trust them. Okay. I don't trust the fact that America, with all this ingenuity and all this uh, might, all this strength, has allowed 160,000 people plus to die from this thing so far. Okay. Mm -hmm. With all we have, all the power we're supposed to have, we're supposed to be the biggest, the strongest, the smartest, and the most mighty, but yet still, 160,000 people have died from this thing. More people have died from this situation than a lot of wars, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Three a, a times war. in Vietnam. Huh? Three times in Vietnam. Three times you know in Vietnam. So you got people that, you know, and I understand uh, sometimes it, it, it seems to be a situation where it affects people with certain um, pre-existing conditions. I understand that. But n nonetheless, they are American citizens. And to see them be, you know, meet their demise, uh, from ignorance or lack of caring, whatever the case may be, still, you know, anybody with any kind of compassion or sympathy would feel for that. You know, and if it's somebody that you care about, you really feel for that. I, I, I've had people that work for me, man, that's gone. The young people, people in the 30s, 40s, and 50s, out of here. You know, I didn't know they had um, any underlying conditions, but for some reason, um, a couple of people that I was close to at one time, man, out of here behind Corona. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. So 170,000 people die. In your opinion, because there has to be a fault, a blame, someone to point the finger at, maybe several things or entities or people to point the finger at. But in your opinion, who is the number one person responsible or thing or country or whatever the case is uh, that 170,000 people are now dead? Donald Trump. Okay. How so? Because, I mean, when it, when it was first brought to his attention, he tried to play it down. He tried to ignore it. He, uh, I mean, he pulled us out of the uh, World, well, World Health Organization. Uh, he defunded the, um, some, you know, the, um, the organization that was over this department. It's like he planned for it to happen. So just like right now, he's trying to, um, trying to affect the election by taking, out, taking away mailboxes, defunding the, uh, the post office. OK, so then hopefully by the time November rolled around, it would make it difficult for people to to um, mail in their votes. Well, he took us out of the World, World Health Organization and he also the, uh, the organization that Obama had in place 
for uh, the pandemic. Uh, I forgot what they call it, the official name for it. It was an office pandemic. for for pandemics. He canceled that. So, it, 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 I mean, this, this is his playbook. Okay, so when he canceled that, not knowing what was there, there was already a playbook written. He threw it out the window. I said, I'm going to play my own play. I'm going to play my Donald Trump play. Uh, I'm going to um, ignore it, play it down. Maybe 15, 20 people are going to be over it by the springtime. It can't last in the heat, blah, blah, blah. And here we are six months or uh, eight months later. And, well, no, I'm sorry, seven months later, we're still dealing with this stuff on a on an uphill, on an uphill climb. Come on, man, miss me with that. I can't, mm -hmm. I, you know, um, leadership is what it is, man. And when you got, you hold a rally, no mask required, no social distancing, and one of your, one of your competitors, Herman Cain, died from this stuff, man. That don't tell you nothing. I don't tell you nothing. You know, um, you know, like I said, people, people have get, people have gotten this stuff and been able to walk away with it. You know, I, I, I see D.L. Hughley seems to be fully recovered. I don't see him uh, having any major issues. He's back on the radio. Uh, yeah. I see uh, Tom Hanks back doing his thing. Um, you know, some people I know, my boy Rodney Perry, one of the comedian buddy of mine, saw him on Facebook. He's under a respirator. I haven't talked to him. I haven't seen any more posts about it, but I'm, I'm hoping he's out of the hospital. But people who I've known that have gone through the situation and they had it severely, so it ain't no joke. So you don't know how you're going to be affected by it, okay? You know, you might just get a sniffle, the diarrhea, go home, keep on pushing, get the antibodies, keep, you know, do your thing. Or you might end up, you know, in, one yeah. of the, one of the, in the statistics. I, yeah. I hope, you know, I hope nobody, I hope I don't get it. I'm, yeah, uh, and even though you don't look like it, you know what I'm saying, you're an older cat. Unless, right. you know, you're I'm real. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, you don't look like it, like I said, but. It, it it affects you, your age range, way more, you know, it seems than it affects, you know, and, younger people. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. All this die ain't gonna ain't gonna kill corona. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so that's what I wanna throw that out there to the kids, man. It's not just about you, you dummies, it's about your parents, man. Like when I see my mom, I wear the mask. When I see my right. dad, I wear the mask. You know what I'm saying? I just gotta do it. It's something that we gotta push through, man. And and just hope that this shit is over. I don't, I don't see it being over in the next year. Uh, and, 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 man, they're probably going to, uh, I was telling my boy yesterday, they're probably going to end up canceling Christmas, man. Think about that, dude. Mm. They already canceled the, uh, the uh, Rose Parade, canceled yeah. uh, college football. Most of the leagues have already canceled already. They still got two more to fit in, and they, they're probably going to cancel by next week. So when you see these kind of moves being made, because what happens is, no matter where you are, no matter when the event starts, you got to get planned. Somebody got to plan this stuff. You got to practice for football, okay? Even if it's over with by January, you still got to practice in, you know, November, October, and December. Well, October, October, November, December. Be ready for it come January. You got to, you got to put, pick the flowers. You got to put, put, uh, put together the, the, um, the, uh, the float for the parade. You know, all these plans have to be put together. And just, some things you just can't do over Zoom, man. You can't build a float over Zoom. Yeah. It ain't yeah. going to happen. We ain't that tough yet, okay? Yeah. Uh, will we ever see concerts? I mean, I don't, I personally, I don't need, I don't think I'll be ready to go to a concert. I mean, for the next <laughs> couple, I, I just don't see myself mentally being ready. Well, I, I didn't go, to, I stopped going to concerts a while ago for various reasons. Um, just the, the, the ignorance factor of some, a certain concerts was just mm -hmm. too high for me. And I, you know, um, yeah. I, I just didn't want to get caught up. But um, they have a lot of outdoor concerts now. I can see myself doing something like that. Yeah, I, I can do. See, I can see possibly a uh, outdoor concert at the park if we got social distancing. But you know, depending mm -hmm. on how the people, uh, how the concert um, organizers set it up. You know, again, mm -hmm. this this thing is not supposed to be able to be transmitted um, in. Um, in, in over the over the air, it's not an aerial situation. So if that's that's a beautiful thing, and if that's the case, then you know outdoor concert may be considered. They're doing drive-up concerts now. I'm seeing drive-up concerts pop up in parking lots all over all over the place. So you know people are gonna find a way to get their money. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. People My wife. Find, and I, go ahead. Yep. My wife and I took it back to 1975 last Friday, and we went to the drive-in. Probably had one of the best times in our life, man. Wow. Wow. That's one about 10 minutes away from me. Okay. Yeah, now, it was really well, cool. Now, you, wouldn't, you ain't been there in years, have you? 
No, it's been a minute, been a minute, but it was packed and it was a movie that people could have watched on Netflix, which is the, which is a trip. It's just people want to get out of the house. People want to get out of the house. 